What's up everyone, this is Shin J. Um, in this video, I'm going to quickly show you my fire spec and kind of explain a little bit about my idea goes behind the spec. So this is what I'm currently running with and um, I prefer this spec than any other specs. So 5 points in impact, 3 points in improved fire blast, 2 points in flame throwing, which is uh, very crucial for BG and two points in incinerate also uh, one point in precision now the reason why i put three points in improved fire blast is because with the improved fire blast combined with a uh, living bomb you can act actually proc your impact very often so which gives you a lot of time for spacing right there are not many classes that can get out of cc at this level right um, they cannot trinket the stun, which is why I prefer, you know, impact proc than slow. I mean, it, of course, it's RNG based, right? But you can almost guarantee to get at least one impact proc um, during a fight with this rotation, uh, the living bomb. <coughs> so sometimes when you're against rogue, which is pretty difficult for fire mage. Um, you can kind of like reapply living bomb once or twice just to see if you can get impact proc for the most part of the fight against a melee specifically you just kind of like a moving and reposition um, your rotation mainly consists of fire blast scorch whenever you can make sure you have enough distance to cast scorch and then apply living bomb um, in a uh, dire situation, you might want to reapply your living bomb just to see if you can get um, the stun proc, which is very, very crucial. Um, two seconds can give you a lot of space, um, especially in this bracket where everything is very bursty. You know, sometimes two seconds can mean life and death. Um, basically, the style of this build is, mu is very much like a Drew. You know, play like a, a balance drill. You just run around, cast spell, and make sure you use your range advantage, um, especially against melee. And because you have a lot of instant cast spell, right? You can fish for impact. Just keep that in mind. Uh, living bomb can proc impact. You know, sometimes I get two stones in one fight. This is pretty much game over. Um, this style of play fits me well because I like mob I like the mobility. I don't like standstill and cast. So spacing is very crucial for fire mage because fire mage does not have the uh, slow the crowd control um, as frost mage. This is pretty much the main idea behind this build. I know that there is another build that put emphasis on the fireball. So the idea is that you just stay behind and cast Fireball as much as you can um, because the current PV gear works well with the Fireball. Uh, we all know that Scorch and Fire Blast does, does not have great spell power scaling ratio. Um, I think if I remember correctly, I think it's 40% for um, Scorch and something like 20% for Fire Blast. Um, you get a hundred percent spell ratio spell scaling ratio for fireball Which makes the fireball the most effective spells to use so like I say it really depends on personal preference Do you like to be the glass cannon and sit behind? Or do you like mobility? So for me, I like mobility. I like survivability. Um, that is why I rarely die in BG as fire mage which may come up as a surprise for some of you guys um, sometimes I got like 15-0, 18-0, 21-1. Uh, so there are a couple of crucial things that you have to uh, be aware to make this spell works better. The first thing is Spider Silk Boots, which gives you damage reduction by 30% for 6 seconds. It's actually crucial for Fire Mage to have. You need to have the boots. The second thing is the usage of Limit Flame. Um, because fire mage lacks a CC ability um, you you can't slow the target as much as the frost mage so 
um, you want to make sure whenever you use Lumen Flame, you want to be in close distance, if, especially against a range class like Hunter or Drew. A lot of time I've seen people use um, Lumen Flame in a very long range, um, which they don't even have the, uh, the chill effect, right? Um, most of the Lumen Flame just goes to waste and people can kite around it. So uh, make sure you're in a close distance. Um, the best time to use is when you can, you know, get Nova on the target, then you pop your Living Flame. Yeah, just be careful when to use the Living Flame. Make sure that the enemy take as much damage as possible. Yeah, this pretty much sums it all. Um, I know there are people have different idea. Um, this is just me personally, my favorite way to run Fire Bill, to fire spec in BG. In terms of dueling, um, there isn't much differences um, except maybe you put two points into the uh, burning soul um, uh, this is especially useful against drew or hunter uh, you get less pushback or you can put two points you can put two points in uh, maybe frostball but me personally i'll just put two points in burning soul yeah i think this is the only thing you need to be aware of is um, Make sure you have enough stamina to survive the initial burst and then swap regeneration and swap burn, burn out for regeneration. And the idea is the same, right? Um, the only thing that's different is you might want to pop your regeneration right before the living flame. So like I said, uh, whenever you want to pop a living flame, you, you need to make sure the target is slow either slow or CC. Um, that way they can take the maximum amount of damage from Limit Flame. So dueling is all about trading health, right? That's why regeneration is the king of dueling. Um, I'll definitely swap out the, the burnout. So this is my fire spec for PvP and thanks for watching.